Let us understand a great strategy of adding mixed numbers and that too without converting to improper fraction. That's the key, right? So it is a unique video in its sense that we will not be converting into the mixed, uh, we will not be converting the mixed numbers into improper fractions. And we'll go for straight addition. See how. Three different examples illustrating you all the three cases which you get when you're talking about unlike denominators. Correct? So we are adding mixed numbers with unlike denominators. So I hope you find this useful. So let's begin with the very first one with Anil Kumar. I'm Anil Kumar and welcome to my YouTube channel. Absolutely free for the last 15 years. You can post questions and get the solutions within 48 hours. Great. So now let's see how do we answer this particular question that is adding improper mixed numbers without converting to improper fraction, right? That's the beauty. So we need to do 4 one thirds plus 2 one sixth. You see 4 and 2 are proper numbers which can be straight away added. So think like this. So we have 4 and 2, we can add them up, right? And then we'll add 1 3rd and 1 6th. Makes sense, right? So 4 plus 2 is equal to 6, right? So we have 6 plus 1 3rd plus 1 6th. Do you see how we have just added the numbers and now we are going to add the fractions? That is what is mixed number right now one third and one sixth we have to look for a common denominator which is of course six because six is a multiple of three so we have six plus we have to convert three and six into six right so how do we do so well for three one third we have to write times two right so it is two over six but the other one is already sixth, right? So we now get six plus two plus one is three, right? So three over six. Three over six, you can simplify and make it half. So it becomes six and a half. Do you see how easily we have done, right? So important here is that this could be reduced to half, right? Dividing by three, you get the whole idea. And we get our answer. So I hope this step is absolutely clear. Perfect. Well, if you like my videos, you can subscribe to them and also write your comments if you need help with any question. Now let's move on and take the solution of the next question, which is 1, 2 over 7 plus 2, 1 over 3. Remember, whole numbers we could add directly, right? That is the strategy. So we'll first write like 1 plus 2, we'll add them up and we are adding the fractions separately. So we are not really converting them to improper fraction. We are working with numbers which are lesser, right? So 1 plus 2 is 3. Now here, how do we add these fractions, which you know, right? Common denominator. Since 3 and 7 are co-prime, we can cross-multiply, right? So, common denominator will be 3 times 7, 21, and 3 times 2, 6 will be the numerator. Here, we'll multiply by 7, and we get this as our result. Now, clearly, what is this equal to? It is 3 plus 7 plus 6, right? 7 plus 6 is 13 over 21. And that can be written as 3, 13 over 21. Do you see how simple it is? All numbers are as they were simple. We did not complicate them. We did not make them bigger and larger. No conversion to improper fraction. So that's the beauty. So you can apply this strategy to the last question. Let's do it together. So we have now 2, 3 over 4, to which we will add 5 and a half. So first step, 
add 2 and 5 correct and then second step add 3 4 with half 2 and 5 you know is 7 and 3 4 and half okay so convert them to 4 right which is 2 over 4 correct now clearly we have 7 3 plus 2 is 5 right so 5 over 4 now you see 5 over 4 is an improper fraction means 1 1 over 4 right so we can write this as 7 plus 1 1 over 4 right now we can combine 7 with 1 so we get 8 1 over 4 as our answer so if there is carry forward like it is in this particular case you see how easily it can be handled so with addition it is not a problem at all with subtraction when we have to borrow then it becomes difficult sometimes correct so i hope with this you have understood the method how do we add mixed numbers with unlike denominators and that too without converting to improper fractions that means working with small numbers so less errors excellent method much faster as you can see for yourself i hope it makes sense feel free to write your comment share your views if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for your valuable time and all the best